sometimes you're asking yourself a question and you know nobody else is going to be able to answer it unless you look into it yourself this is one of these days i was looking at the snowmobile on my bench and i was wondering what would happen if you go really, really, really long on the skid. Is it going to perform better? Is it going to perform worse? Right? We all have an idea on what it's going to do, but sometimes the result surprises you. And that's exactly what I decided to check. So that's why I, that's why I made this monstrosity. I have no idea how long it is, but what I know is that the track is actually longer, almost, than the length of the snowmobile itself. If you just take the length of what's touching the ground. So, it's a little stupid, a little bit insane. Now, try to figure out what it's going to do. Maybe the result would surprise you. Well, without further ado, let's test it. Now, before I go too far with this, I just want to let you know that this would be pretty much the equivalent of having a two inch track that is, I don't know, maybe 200 and something inches long. I really don't know how long it is, but it's the equivalent of having two skids back to back. So whatever it does, let's see. That's a good start. So what I can say right away is that even though it has that super long skid, it doesn't have a crazy amount of hill climb capabilities. It's like if the snow that gets stuck between each lugs kind of gets trapped there and it prevents it from digging down and getting the harder stuff. So it's just like moving the powder on top. It doesn't do anything to, pro to propel you forward. It just Yes, it's moving a lot of that snow out, but it doesn't have the bite to do a wheelie and go get that hard stuff down there and propel it upward. So you need to have a lot of track speed to get up and a bit of momentum as well. Because if you don't have quite enough, you'll just get stuck. Carving capability of such a long skid is actually better than the carving capability of a more shorter skid or lighter machine hold the line a little bit better and doesn't tip quite as easily but it's hard to tell i mean i can't really explain why it does that but i don't know it, it likes to carve a little bit better There we go. There's that much snow. <laughs> Looks about almost two feet of snow here. And it's mostly powder. Uh, game over. The weirdest thing is that the part I was expecting it to do the best, which is going up the hill, was part of the thing that was the most difficult as well. I think that what happened is that all that powder that sits on top of the snow like that, 
that's not really consistent. So when the track just tried to grab onto something like this, it has a hard time getting any traction because it's just moving some fluff around. And it doesn't get to the bottom of the snow where the harder stuff is that has more traction and more is more compacted. And the skid was so long that it could it could literally not go down there and grab that stuff. So in conclusion, what was the advantages of having such a long skid? Well, it has amazing flotation. It doesn't matter how much snow or what kind of snow you have, it just floats. It has amazing recovery capabilities because when you go face down in the snow and you're trying to give it some, some gas to get back up on top of the snow to push through that hard snow at the bottom and go back up, it seemed to be really capable of doing something like this, which kind of makes sense. When you're stuck going down here, all the powder is on top, but if you give it some throttle, all the powder gets moved out and you dig down onto some harder stuff and the harder stuff has more bite to get you out of the hole. The ability to do some slight carving side to side which is not something I typically am able to do on these machines but it seems like having such a long skid gives me a slight advantage doing it which I'm not fully sure why it does it but that's what it does. The last weird thing I was not expecting it turns really nicely on hard ground which again is something I found really surprising almost as easy if not easier with a longer skid and which is weird what I think is happening is that since the skid is so long and it has no weight completely at the back it's like it doesn't have any weight there to prevent you from skidding so it's just maybe a little bit in the air so again something surprising I didn't expect so let me know if your guess was correct normally these machines are very similar to their real counterpart in terms of capabilities if you just watch some of my other video, you can see what they can do and sometimes very convincing and similar to the real machines. If somebody made a skit that was that long, what can it do in real life? So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for riding with me.